Hello everyone, what's up? It's Richard Crazy. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the top five things that you should not do in a roller coaster. Now, just think about it. You're a GP, you're about to ride a big roller coaster, or just any roller coaster in general, and you're very scared to ride it. Well, here are five things you can do to to not be afraid or to to lighten your fear or even to eliminate it at all of your fear. And today's video, we're going to be talking about ways you can just stop being afraid or you what you can do on a roller coaster to just more enjoy the experience as you're still a little bit afraid. Anyways, I'm Hershey Bar Crazy, and let's get straight into today's video. Alright guys, so we're just going to start it right up here. Coming into number 5 is cl clench up. Now, what I would suggest doing is to... This is something you shouldn't do with clench up, but I should suggest you just relax every muscle in your body and just really just relax and find your happy space. If you're really scared of a roller coaster, as you're going through the chain lift or if you're on a roller coaster, um, as you're on a launch coaster, as you're going into from the transfer track into the launch track, just try to make, think peace in your mind if you're really scared. Don't clench up, don't tighten up your muscles, just relax your entire body and it will help you with your overall ride experience. Coming up to number four is don't start big. Start with the smaller coasters. Um, obviously this is weird. Like a lot of people are like, well, if, if this is easy, like this is obvious. Start off with wooden coasters. I wouldn't go straight to steel coasters because a lot of those have inversions and stuff. A lot of GP are afraid of going upside down. Start off with wooden roller coasters because then you can think it would make it easier to ride the steel coasters and also be able, you will enjoy start enjoying roller coasters more and more the more you ride. So start off with the wooden roller coasters. Don't start big with the big bad steel coasters, 200 feet tall hyper coasters or giga coasters or whatever. Don't start off with those. Start off small with wooden coasters or even kitty kitty coasters. You know, start to start small. Coming in at number three is overthink it. Don't overthink it at all. Now I know what you're saying. This is this is something that a lot of people can't control. Yes, you can. Just don't think about it before you go on the ride. Just 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 ride it. So what what this means is don't just don't sit there in line, being like, oh my gosh, that, this is so scary. We're gonna go so high and we're gonna try like and fly on my seat. Don't. Just try not to think about the ride. Try to talk to your friends and just have a good time while you're waiting in line. I'm not even lying, guys. You can have really good times just waiting in line and talking with people because sometimes the best fun is just having a conversation with one of your closest friends. Um, getting into deep conversations or whatever can be fun and enjoyable. So if you're in line, just don't don't think about it too much and just enjoy the time you can spend with your friend. And if you're by yourself, just watch YouTube or something on your phone. Just try not to think about what you're about to do. Coming in at number two is underthink it. Now, I know what you guys are saying. You just said not to overthink it. Yeah, don't underthink it. Because if you underthink it, here's my reasoning. If you underthink it, like, let's just say you don't think about it at all. Because the thing I just said, you're going to think about it a little bit, even if you do what I just said. If if you don't think about it at all, what you're going to do is that when you get on the coaster and you're like, okay, I can do this. It's going to be very easy. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be afraid at all. And then you're not afraid at all. But then once the, the ride starts, you're going to get very scared because you're not going to expect stuff. Just make sure you're aware of your surroundings and you expect what's going to happen. Because that will also lower your chances of being scared and have a good ride experience. Anything, guys. Coming in at number one. Is close your eyes now this is the worst thing to do on a roller coaster never ever close your eyes if you're afraid of a coaster and close your eyes not only will you not know what's going to go on what's going to happen but you're not going to enjoy your ride experience it's all the only thing about roller coasters is to enjoy the ride experience um and, and just have fun and just enjoy what's going on so if you close your eyes not only are you going to be afraid but you're not going to have the best ride experience that you possibly can and then you're not going to be prepared for what's going on and then you're, for the next coaster that you ride you're going to close your eyes again and you're just not going to be able to know what's going on and you're not going to be able to have a good experience on the coaster so the next coaster that you ride that will be bigger is to um and then you're more scared for that because you didn't experience fully the last coaster Anyways, guys, what did you think of this list? Do you think that there's other things you can put on here, some of, like honorable mentions or whatever, that you think that would be really good for people to not to, to not do if they're riding a coaster? I would like to leave all these descriptions, that, like all these, in the comments down below. Um, I thought I would do this differently because a lot of people did videos on how to get over your fear of roller coasters, and I thought I would just do a list of things that you shouldn't do while, while you're riding the coaster itself. But yeah, so if you guys if you guys have any other ways to help out GPs, just leave it all in the description on how you can get over your fear of roller coasters or even a couple of things of what you should not do on a roller coaster. 
Anyways, if you want to see the daily life of Rich Boy Crazy, please go check out my Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing more socials if you guys are interested in that. Um, I'm not sure yet, but right now I have a Rich Boy Crazy Instagram account. So if you guys want to see my daily life coaster pictures and coaster and pictures of myself, um, me hanging out with my friends or whatever, some even Hershey Park YouTubers, make sure you guys uh, those are all posted on my Instagram. So make sure you guys go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for that. If you guys want to see some other awesome Hershey Park content, go check out my friends' channels. I have a a tab for all of my friends' YouTube channels and awesome Hershey Park content that you guys aren't gonna want to miss. If you don't want to miss any Hershey Park crazy content, then just make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you will, won't miss a time when I upload because I make awesome Hershey Park content and other coaster content you guys aren't gonna want to miss. And as always, stay crazy for Hershey Park.